Today topic is McCabe Thiele method. McCabe Thiele method is graphical method. It is used to obtaining required number of plates or tray for a given degree of separation in distillation column. Now, suppose this is distillation column. The liquid mixture to be separated is introduced here. Then the distillate which is rich in more volatile component is withdrawn from the top. And the residue which is rich in less volatile component is removed from the bottom. Hence for better separation in distillation column. It consists of variety of packings or series of trays or plates. So, to calculate theoretical number of plates or trays for specified degree of separation, McCabe Thiele method is used. But there are some assumptions in this method. So first assumption is constant molar heat of vaporization. Second, no heat losses. And third is no heat of mixing. Due to these three assumptions, on H tray amount of liquid vaporize and amount of vapor condensed will be same. Hence molal vapor flow rate and molal liquid flow rate in any section of column leads to constant. Now, in McCabe Thiele method there is stepwise procedure for obtaining theoretical plates. First step is, by material balances, find D, X, D, W, X, W and L. For that, we can write material balance equation for distillation column as F is equal to D plus W. Now, component balance equation as F into XF is equal to D into XD plus W into XW. When we solve this equation, we get unknown terms. Next step is draw the equilibrium curve and diagonal with the help of given xy data. To draw equilibrium curve xy data may be given, which is shown in table. But, if relative volatility is given, we can find xy data by using relative volatility formula. So formula is y is equal to alpha into x divided by 1 plus alpha minus 1 into x. Now to generate x y data, we assume x is equal to 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2 up to 1 and corresponding values of y calculated, which is shown in table. Now using this x y data draw equilibrium curve. Now next step, draw the operating line of rectifying section. As we know the equation of operating line of rectifying section is y is equal to l divided by l plus d into x plus d into x d divided by l plus d. But when r is equal to l divided by d, this equation becomes y is equal to r divided by r plus 1 into x plus xd divided by r plus 1. So this is equation of operating line of rectifying section. Where r divided by r plus 1 is slope. And xd divided by r plus 1 is intercept. So, if we know l, d or r, 
we can calculate slope and intercept of operating line then we can easily draw operating line for rectifying section so for this first we plot point xd xd then using slope or intercept draw operating line of rectifying section from xd xd In this way, we can draw operating line of rectifying section. Now next step. Draw the operating line of stripping section. The equation of operating line is y is equal to l dash divide by l dash minus w into x plus w into x w divide by l dash minus w. where l dash divide by l dash minus w is slope and w into x w divide by l dash minus w is intercept. So from material balance we can calculate l dash and w. So for this first we plot point x w x w. Then using slope or intercept we can draw operating line of stripping section from x w x w. So in this way we get area between equilibrium curve and operating line of rectifying and stripping section. In this area, starting from the point x d x d on the diagonal, now draw a horizontal line up to point A on equilibrium curve. Then draw a vertical line from point A up to point 1 on operating line. Similarly, we construct triangles between equilibrium curve and operating line of rectifying section. And then between equilibrium curve and operating line of stripping section till we reach or cross the point x w x w now this each triangle on the x y diagram represent a theoretical plate If the number of triangles are n, n represents the theoretical number of plates, including reboiler. Now in this diagram, number of theoretical plates including reboiler is equal to n, which is equal to 9. Hence number of theoretical plates is equal to n minus 1, which is equal to 9 minus 1 is equal to 8. Hence for this separation required number of plates is 8. So in this way, we can obtain theoretical number of plates in distillation column using McCabe-Thillet method. If you like my video, please like my video and subscribe my channel.